me. It could look like someone saying something that um, triggers a part of you that's insecure. Um, and it's bringing you back to a moment in time when your power was taken away. And, you know, your, they say inner child, your inner child shows up to take the driver's seat, which isn't always the best idea. I mean, would you have a 15 year old managing your relationships is the question, right? Would you have a toddler or a kindergartner or a teenager make adult decisions for you? Would you give them the keys to your life and say, hey, Pick my partner, pick my job, manage my money, manage my emotional body. Uh, you, you yeah, I see some hard nose coming on that. I see some, some yeah. hard nose coming up. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. When it comes to narcissistic abuse, toxic people, how can someone use the state of grace and the elements that you talk about? Um, I think that, of course, when you go through cancer, and I've been through cancer myself, uh, I was stage three breast cancer, or you go through narcissistic abuse, which I've also been through that um, in my lifetime. So you are going to obviously have feelings of sadness and anger and all those, you know, quote unquote negative feelings. Uh, but actually they're not. They're, there's It's your body and your mind telling you something is wrong here when it comes to narcissistic abuse and cancer which is a narcissistic abuser also because it invades mm. you and doesn't ask for your permission okay go with us it hurts so i can now try to replace those feelings of sadness and grief with happy memories or happy feelings happy thoughts um it's so important to realize that we're in control i'm in control of how I choose to feel. And it's almost like an awakening because I've never experienced this before. So I'm kind of like that little, little girl, okay, starting to bloom. Like, this is great. Um, it's exciting to me now. It feels good. It feels liberating. And I know some of you, as I was, are in it, okay? It's a hard time of year. Being in a sad relationship is hard, but I just want you all to know there is hope. Don't ever give up hope. Always know that there is someone that will listen. There is somebody that cares. I care. Anyone needs to get in touch with me. Anyone needs guidance or help or wants to just vent. Please, please don't hesitate. You can email me at Susie A cause at gmail.com or actually my new email is Susie with a z podcast show at gmail.com that's the same for my youtube um my instagram and tiktok as well Susie. i'm here to tell you there is life on the other side there is a whole world out there once you get through the first you know couple couple chapters couple bumps in the road of healing and recognizing what we're doing and what we need and what kind of help and support we need it feels so good to be out here now and to i feel like i have a new lease on life hello welcome thank you so much for joining me here today i am amber legato here on the netv network Thank you again for being here. I'm so excited for this episode. We are here learning about healthy communication with toxic people today. How joyous it is to have healthy communication, but even furthermore, what do we do when we have toxic people in our life or people who behave with toxic patterns? How do we really identify these behaviors in our life or these people in our life and how do we continue to have healthy communication if you're listening in today please 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 be sure to comment below let me know that you're here i'm happy to answer any questions you have along the way and um again thanks for joining me here make sure you go over to my channel i am amber legato here on youtube i am giving away a free gift for all my new subscribers I just wanted to put that out there as well. But here we are, healthy communication. What does healthy communication look like? 
I honestly have to say that through my journey of becoming someone who specializes in healthy communication and healthy relationships, that for me, truly, you need to become a healthy version of yourself. Just like we go to the gym or we eat a healthy diet or we start becoming more aware of what we are fueling ourselves with, our communication is the number one most important part of how we connect with others how we communicate everything that we are experiencing in this life, everything that we are going through, we share it with the people that are surrounding us. I think safety and security is so important when we have these relationships and connections with people that in order to feel safe, just like my tone right now, it's calm. I don't feel angry. I don't feel upset. I'm not anxious. And anyone listening right now can tell that I feel calm and collected. I'm holding a safe space for anyone who is listening right now. And a lot of times when we have communication with people and we feel triggered, you can tell immediately in a tone of voice, in a facial expression, and overall just the energy of how somebody feels. You can feel that when you're in person, whereas when you're on Oh, Sarah, I'm so happy you're here. I just wanted to say hello. I see you coming across the screen there. I see Crystal. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here today. I'm so happy. Welcome to another podcast show right here on NATV Network. Time for the lady herself, the one and only, one of a kind, Crystal Nicole Black. Okay, we're going to do ADHD. This is the ADHD podcast from the lady herself. Come on in. Get your notepads out. The ghetto show girl don't be using oh these big words you're like that's too much vocab today hey oh this article Way too much. has a little bit of you know psychological smart terms pretty Is legit pretty yeah, legit, pretty legit. Logo. okay I think well so. you know logo lingo L- logo you know I mean. lingo it doesn't matter because we <laughs> are going somewhere we just don't know where yet that's part of the fun yeah it's part it of is, the journey journey right. okay everybody um you don't know this but there are two episodes let me uh bring this down some boss uh there are a couple of episodes that nobody knows anything about uh that we've already pre-recorded you guys are going to be able to see those they're coming soon this technically is the third episode so you're getting number three before you get one and two uh on adhd um thank you my friend for doing your uh, show thank today you no, thank mm-hmm. you. I can't thank you enough. I was smiling so much when I saw that intro, too. I was loving it. Uh, that's right. You haven't seen it yet. Huh? I don't no. Know I keep thinking sometimes everybody's already seen them. Like, I look make at all them. the hairstyle changes. We look like the <laughs> hair company. Like, Okay. I've got something for you. I I better not say it. Fashion. This Friday, if, if anybody's free this Friday, 